everyone. I wanted to talk to you today about something kind of neat and a little bit different from the actual Japanese maple plants. I'm going to focus on the Japanese part of Japanese maples and show you how the Acer palmatum has had a big role in Japanese culture. So I was visiting Japan recently and I came across a number of things that I found were really interesting and tied to Japanese maples. And the one I want to share with you today mainly is the Japanese maple manju or momiji manju. So we'll do a little taste test today and I'll show you a few other Japanese maple related items. I think you'll find that really interesting. So let's go. Outside of the city of Hiroshima, there's an island called Miyajima and it's a really neat place. The island is known mainly for its iconic Itsukushima shrine and you can see the famous Atori gate that looks like it's floating in the water. And the whole shrine itself looks like it's floating in the water. Um, really neat. It's a working shrine. You can see the uh, the monks in the morning with their brooms sweeping up. And um, just very scenic place. But the neat, the neat thing about the area surrounding the shrine is the emphasis on the Japanese maple. You can see the influences everywhere from the shops uh, to the nearby uh, Momijidani Park which is about a 10 minute walk from the shrine. And it's full of Japanese maple trees. And uh, one of the other neat things about the area is the wild deer. They're pretty friendly and they're just walking around and you can even go up and pet them or feed them. And um, it just reminded me of, if anybody knows the uh, Japanese card game called Hanafuda, there's a series of cards that um, the Momiji, or the Japanese Maple, is one of the series of uh, cards in the set. And one of the cards even has a deer in it. And it really reminds me of this place here. The shops here are full of Japanese Maple themed souvenirs and foods. And this is where I picked up my box of Momiji Manju. We'll take a look now. I got a little box full of manju with five different flavors. Manju is a Japanese, traditional Japanese cake. Uh, these are made out of buckwheat flour and they have different kinds of fillings. Uh, this particular one had uh, two different types of azuki bean fillings and I found out a little bit more about that. These manju are really cute, shaped like a Japanese maple leaf. This variety is a Chaco, it's a chocolate fill. Let's see this one. Uh, Kurimu, so uh, it's a cream fill. Ever like cream custard filled pastries? That's a good one. This one says Subuan, which is a red bean filling, sweet red beans. This one is matcha, so a green tea filling. So this last one is koshian, which is also a red azuki bean filling. So I didn't even know there were two different kinds of azuki bean or on fillings. So let's take a look at what's inside of these. Have my trusty uh, cutting board from Hawaii. I really like how these manju look. Usually they're round shape, but I like this Japanese maple leaf shape. The subuan bean paste is uh, contains whole beans and a little bit more texture. They also say it's a bit sweeter, and so I have a feeling I, I'm probably liking this one a bit better. But you can see here, you can see the beans. Not very well, but you can see there in there. So the koshian, they strain the paste. So there are no pieces of beans in there. It's just a nice smooth paste. Take a look at this one. Yeah, definitely you can see the difference. Very smooth. 
I think they say this is sort of a higher class uh, way of preparing it. So you can see the difference here side by side. So that's it for Manju. I'd like to close today's video by showing you a few pictures of some of the other Japanese maple items from Miyajima Island. Take care and we'll see you next time.